of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore Thee profoundly. I offer Thee the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which He is offended, and through the infinite merits of His most sacred heart and of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. Sancti Michael Archangeli, defendi nos in prerio, contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli esto presidium, imperatiri Deus supicesta precamur, tu quae princeps minitiae celestis, satana maniosque spiritus manignos, Quod perditione manimarum pervagantur in mundo, divina virtute in infernum de trude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we prepare to enter into these glorious mysteries, sorry, as we prepare to enter rather into these sorrowful mysteries, because every Sunday during Lent we're praying the sorrowful mysteries, even though I'm praying this rosary in the glory and the splendor of what will soon be this chapel here at the heart at the heart of Saint Philomena, we're praying the sorrowful mysteries. And so let's begin by asking Saint Joseph and Saint Philomena intercede for this whole project, and especially to help us on this Passion Sunday to enter into the great graces available as we follow our Lord in his passion, death, and resurrection. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Philomena, Pray for us. And so at the end of this rosary, I'll read today's gospel and share a few words about how we can dive into these final two weeks of preparation for Easter. And at the same time, one of the key spiritual aspects of being a co-worker of St. Philomena, hoping that you'll choose to be a co-worker of St. Philomena. And among the intentions, I'm just going to mention one. Uh, confiding to Our Lady all those most in need, and that is a lady who was just taken off of life support and who now has, uh, has a feeding tube and they're trying to clear her lungs of infection. And so for this good lady and the probably intense suffering that she's going through for her friends, for her family, and for all those who are suffering the most at this time. St. Joseph terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and all his minions, and protect us with thy mighty staff. Thou fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children, fathers, mothers, families, and the dying. By God's grace no demon dares approach while thou art near. So we beg of thee, Saint Joseph, Always be near to us. Amen. St. Joseph, the terror of demons, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, fervor and prayer. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, a spirit of mortification. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, moral courage. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, patience. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Savior upon the cross. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, forgiveness of injuries, and a spirit of self-sacrifice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. O Jesus, I choose to live this day for love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radix, Salve Porta, Ex qua mundo lux est torta, Gaude Virgo Gloriosa, Super Omnes Pecigosa, Vale go vale de cora, e pro nobis Christum ex ora. Digna de me laudare te Virgo Sacrata, dami qui virtutem contra ostes tuos. Let us pray. Grant unto us, O merciful God, a defense against our weakness, that we who remember the Holy Mother of God by the help of her intercession may rise from our iniquities through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pour His graces upon each one of your families. Benedictio Deo Omnipotentis, Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of this Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade being prayed today here from the heart of St. Philomena, from the chapel that we hope to finish before too long with your help. And if you can stay a few more moments, I'll read today's gospel and share a few words both about how to enter into these final two weeks before Easter and one of the key aspects of how you can become one of St. Philomena's co-workers, something you can do on the spiritual plane. So today is Passion Sunday. I know I'm fuzzy at the moment, hopefully. Okay. Today is Passion Sunday. For those not familiar with the traditional cycle uh, of readings, you'll be hearing the gospel for, that's been prayed in the church for centuries on this Passion Sunday. It's from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. At that time, Jesus said to the multitudes of the Jews, Which of you shall convince me of sin? If I say the truth to you, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth the words of God. Therefore you hear them not, because you are not of God. The Jews therefore answered and said to him, Do not we say well that thou art a Samaritan, and hast not a devil, sorry, and hast a devil? Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father and you have dishonored me, but I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Amen, amen, I say to you, if any man keep my word, he shall not see death forever. The Jews therefore said, Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and thou sayest, if any man keep my word, he shall not taste death forever. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, who is dead, and the prophets are dead? Whom dost thou make thyself? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father that glorifieth me, of whom you say that he is your God, and you have not known him, but I know him. And if I shall say that I know him not, I shall be like to you, a liar. But I do know him, and do keep his word. Abraham your father rejoiced that he might see my day. 
he saw it and was glad. The Jews therefore said to him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham was made, I am. They took up stones, therefore, to cast at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. And so we see here the, the, the violent hatred against our Lord, the persecution. And it's good on Passion Sunday to recall that all throughout the history of the church, the, the church has been persecuted, individual Catholics have been persecuted. St. Paul perhaps says it the most bluntly. He says, anyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. I often thought we should make that a billboard. Anyone who wants to give a godly, live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Come become a Catholic, come join us and be persecuted. But our Lord was very frank about that, and so we shouldn't be surprised. And the aspect I want to focus on today from St. Philomena, how to become one of her co-workers, is precisely that willingness to suffer for the name of Christ, the willingness to suffer and even to lose everything. St. Philomena, and we know about her life from the private revelations that were approved at the highest level of the Vatican by the Holy Office back in 1833, and that recount that she was uh, just barely of marriageable age, so still, still a very young lady. And the emperor of the Roman Empire had offered her his hand in marriage. He wanted to marry her. And she refused because she'd already promised to belong to Jesus Christ alone. And in refusing that, she eventually lost her life. And I'd say not only her life, but her parents, at least initially, reacted very strongly, thought she was uh, um, hurting them by not saying yes to the emperor. So she lost everything. She lost the affection of her own family. She lost uh, her life. She lost the possibility of glory, of honor, of prestige. She lost everything from a human point of view. And, but she gained everything. She became then the, the bride of our Lord, and at the moment that she died in this world, entered into the glory and the splendor and the joy and, and became a queen, um, a daughter of our Lord who's a queen in his kingdom in the most beautiful way possible. And so for us, it could be that God will ask some of us to be martyred, and if he does, then we should ask St. Philomena to help us be ready for that. But already right now, what we should learn from her, what she wants to give us and teach us, is how to be willing to let go of everything else. So often we're, we're controlled by the opinions of others. We're afraid to lose the esteem of others around us, be seen, not be seen in a good light one, one way or another because we're being faithful to Jesus, but other people don't understand that. Or we're afraid to lose our material position or, or possibly our health or, or our life, if it were to be that. But we often are afraid of dying to ourselves. And St. Philomena wants to teach us one day at a time to learn to deny ourselves, to take up our cross and follow our Lord. That's a very simple message, but putting it into practice is a really key aspect of becoming one of St. Philomena's co-workers. And the more that you do that, the more you say, Lord, you're my only treasure. You're the pearl of great price. And anything else, whatever else it is, even if there's things you've given me, then thanks be to God, and I, I thank you for that. But I'm not clinging to them. I'm happy to uh, rejoice in these blessings you've given me insofar as they're there, but I'm also willing to let go of them. And what I really want to cling to is you. And that simple attitude of the heart and in the small sacrifices that usually arise on a daily basis, one way or another, if we embrace those, then St. Philomena can lead us to that peace and joy and freedom of heart that nothing in this world can phase. Even the threat of martyrdom will not be able to stop. And so that's my hope and my prayer for you on this Sunday. And once again, I'll say we're now, this is the seventh day, so we only have two more days left. Yeah, I would encourage you to prayerfully consider, and I say prayerfully consider because if it's not God's will or you can't or whatever the case is, then I fully respect that. And the wonderful thing about this is, of course, I don't know. I, I'm, you don't have to worry about me being aware and running into you in the hallway and 
and uh, feeling I was disappointed, which I wouldn't be, but you don't even have to worry about that because um, I won't know uh, specifically, I won't be encountering you uh, as to whether you gave or didn't give. But having said that, please consider, please prayerfully consider making a one-time gift, something that's even uncomfortable, even an uncomfortable sacrifice during these nine days, and then a once-a-month gift to become of one of St. Philomena's co-workers. Thinking of, uh, I think very much in this, for, of the immigrant families here in the United States who made great sacrifices to build something beautiful for God and the beautiful churches that we have. So I leave that to your discernment in God's hands. I wish you a wonderful rest of your Sunday. I look forward to praying the rosary with you tomorrow. Would you be willing to help St. Philomena, one of the greatest miracle workers of the past 200 years, to help souls from all over the world come to know and love Jesus and Mary by becoming one of St. Philomena's co-workers, so that our Lord Jesus Christ and Our Lady might act much more powerfully in hearts and souls in a world which is so in need of their presence? St. John Bosco once had a vision where the church would be in terrible times, risking to indeed shipwreck the entire church, but that the church would be fastened and held safe by two pillars. On top of one pillar was Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth, Queen of Angels. On top of the other pillar was Our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, and by anchoring the church to those two pillars, the church was protected and safe. The most essential thing in the world is the holy sacrifice of the Mass and the adoration of our Lord. Padre Pio used to say that the world could more easily exist without the Son than it could without the Mass. And so we feel that God has asked us to create a place called St. Philomena, where the adoration and worship of God will be central. These beautiful 160 acres here in Kansas, dedicated to our Lord and Our Lady, in the heart of which will be the Holy House of Loretto Chapel, where Our Lord will take up His dwelling in the Blessed Sacrament, and where the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass will be offered and where he will be adored throughout the day. It will become the home for Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade, and one day we hope that you will be able also to visit and to have this place help you to open your souls more fully to the grace of God. God has been known to ask St. Philomena to play a crucial role in places where the church is falling apart, not physically, but spiritually. The Curie de Ars, St. John Marie Vianney, in France, was once sent by his bishop to a parish that was in great spiritual need. The bishop told him it was lacking in love for God. So the Curie de Ars called upon little St. Philomena to assist him, and she became the great miracle worker in that place, playing a key role in transforming the parish into one of the holiest parishes where people would come from far and wide to have their spiritual lives renewed and for sinners to be converted. Ave Philomena desires to cooperate with God in helping our Lord and Our Lady to act powerfully in our work today. We believe that God has chosen Saint Philomena as the key worker in heaven who wants to lead this project. We are inviting you today to become St. Philomena's co-workers, to choose to do something very important with St. Philomena. And so what is the work of Ave Philomena? It is to help anchor souls throughout the world to these two pillars. Through Our Lady, by every single day, uniting souls from countries throughout the world in the prayer of the Rosary. 
from Pakistan to Israel, to Singapore to South Africa, to Indonesia to India, to Germany to Holland to Romania, to countries all over the world, the young and the old, from families gathering to those who feel alone, from those who are in the midst of their workplace to those who are sick or in hospital. We gather every day in the Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade to come before Our Lady with whom all things are possible. In addition to that, there are many other programs we want to develop. We've received permission from a number of publishers to turn good classic works on the spiritual life into programs that can be available with video content for people throughout the world. We can't accomplish this without you. In fact, though it may be hard for you to believe, everything that has been achieved so far materially has been accomplished because of you. It's been through many donations from all over the world that have allowed us to begin the St. Philomena project. And now we appeal to you again for your prayers and your generous contributions for us to be able to bring the project to its full fruition. To become one of St. Philomena's co-workers, we would ask these three things of you. Firstly, commit to praying daily the short prayer, St. Philomena, pray for us. Secondly, to pray five decades of the rosary daily. And thirdly, that you earnestly consider making a $25 monthly contribution to Ave Philomena. A monthly Mass on First Fridays will be offered for the co-workers of St. Philomena. Anyone who is unable to contribute monetarily at this time is encouraged to let us know in writing to our mailing address listed on the Ave Philomena website that they wish to become co-workers by offering their personal sacrifices and prayers in support of the work of St. Philomena. Those who write to us will then be included in the monthly Mass offered by Father Pilari. We now leave this in God's hands. May His will be done. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. St. Philomena, pray for us.